Well, if you guys didn't watch yesterday's video. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen, the new car on the channel. We finally brought back an AMG, and I am so happy about it. I absolutely love, love, love this car. But we've been having spring weather up till 70 degrees, and this happened last night. Look at that. All the snow. Now, granted, it's going to be 50 degrees and sunny today, so this will be gone by today, but... Ugh. Oh well. Starting this video ahead today by running some errands. I got just random boring stuff to do, so I won't film much of that, but, and this is completely honest, I have never ever heard a W204 C63 cold start in person, not even this car. Because when I picked it up, it had been running, it was in the detail shop and all that stuff, that was a warm start. So you guys know we do a lot of cold starts on this channel. So the first cold start in the 6.2 liter naturally aspirated V8 C63. AMG. I should add, this is a completely stock exhaust. I don't really know, you know, what to expect on a cold start. It sounds amazing during revs and stuff, even though it is stock, but yeah, cold starts, I don't really know. Let her rip! <laughs> Oh yeah, I mean, I know it's nothing crazy, but it sounds really, really good. That's all gonna change though. Now, we do have uh, quite an issue here in the, <laughs> in the driveway, and I know a lot of people like to bitch about that. But come on, you guys don't have to deal with it, I do. I just snap my fingers here, and then we're gonna move the Raptor over here, and the AMG over there. There we go. Oh yeah, even though this interior is dated, I, man, I love it. So we got a couple things to take care of. I got to run some errands, like I said. You know, this whole pandemic thing happening, the only thing that I really want to find, it's not really toilet paper, although we need that too, but it's bottled water. So I'm going to go look for that. And then we'll continue on with this video. I'm still so surprised that people will bunker up on toilet paper, but not bottled water. So this is what we found. Uh, cereal, milk, and water. No toilet paper, though. See, this is another reason why I love this brand. They're so well-rounded. They're good-looking. They got great performance. They're luxurious, they're comfortable, and they got cargo space. Now, what we just went and shopped for, I mean, that was like nothing, but we're about to replace those groceries with all these bags over here. This is all old clothes of ours that's being donated. So, let's see how much fits in the trunk. The rest we're gonna have to throw in the back seat. <laughs> Look at that, I didn't think all eight bags were gonna fit, but they did. There's been way too little pulls in today's video. Oh yeah! Woo -hoo! Oh, the downshifts, and it's stock. Man, this is gonna sound so good with an exhaust. I'm impressed by the power delivery in this car. Yeah, it's a, it's a big displacement, 6.2. But it's not like the four liter bi-turbo that I used to have. I mean, with more power and even more torque. This thing pulls. God, I love this engine. See, I've only owned the car for not even a full day, so I'm not gonna say too much, but it's almost like I like this M156 more than the old one. And I love the old one. You guys know how much I love that, but this, it's just so pure. God, I love naturally aspirated engines, specifically, when they have, you know, the torque right. Like, I love the M5, I love it, but it's all high-end torque. Like, after 80 miles an hour, that thing is a rocket. It's a true Autobahn, like, German car. And, I mean, so is this, obviously, in a sense. It's German, but this is more low-end torque. It pulls better in the lower RPMs. Like, the M5 has zero torque, If I mean, not zero, but it kind of feels like it has zero torque in first gear. When you get to second and third, that's when it starts pulling. This is just a, it's a, it's a different story. Even the golf 
clubs fit. Don't worry, folks. Don't worry, folks. We're not going to go play golf in today's video. I promise it's all about the C63 AMG. I mean, this has got to be one of the best decisions. And this is only, you know, the first full day that I've had the car, but it might be the best decision I've ever made uh, for the channel in terms of how it makes me feel to drive an AMG again. And also from the response you guys gave the delivery video. I mean, you guys seem to love uh, the decision of me buying a C63 and not a Supra or anything like that. It just feels so good. I mean, I know that I can get kind of repetitive me sitting and saying like, oh, it drives so good, it feels so good, but it feels so just right to drive a C63 again. I'm so happy. Now, it goes without saying, I mean, obvious things that it it's a different feel between a 204 and a 205, but it's just different in such a good way. This thing is, it's still, refined because it's a Mercedes but it just it feels more raw than the W205 did and it's just it's, it's such a Hooner mobile too man it's just like whip it around <laughs> it actually got grip there that's amazing the tires sitting on this car aren't really the best so they're gonna get replaced before we get new wheels anyhow so uh, yeah let's see what happens when you just punched the throttle no brake boosted nothing yeah there you go i kind of short shifted to third there but i mean the car rips like the 205s they have so much torque because of the turbos like low end torque this thing rips as well just in comparison to the v10 m5 uh, it's a huge difference as we can see here uh, the car has a limited slip differential and that might you know sound kind of weird because that's normal for most performance cars but when this car came out that wasn't like a standard feature you had to get a p31 i think it was a performance pack they called it but this car doesn't have that but with the performance pack you got limited slip differential you got a bit more power 481 versus 451 but that's not really an issue for me because we're, we're gonna take care of that with the tune anyhow there were a couple other upgrades as well a little stiffer suspension and so on but that was one of the things that i checked for before i bought this car that it did have the limited slip differential because you can't really drive around and do one wheel peels in this car <laughs> now what's also great about this car is that it's a 2012 and in two, for the 2012 model year it had a facelift so the center stack here looks a little different uh, on our 11 the c300 that we had last year it was a flip up screen that came up for 2012 they changed it to more of a stationary look uh, it's a little different here as well around the gear selector the front end got a facelift as well So from 12 to the last year that they made these in 2015 the car basically looks the same it, it's, it's, it's gorgeous <laughs> and like we said here the rear tires I mean they, they were crappy to begin with which is why there probably will be more burnouts now in the beginning the new the front tires look pretty much brand new but they feel kind of cupped um, I don't even know it's Goodyear Eagles it should be bad but I'll end up replacing these as well we got new front rotors and brakes that was put on when the car was traded in so that's a good thing because I'm sure that's pretty expensive Sis, that's a cool hat you're wearing. Thanks. I know it's a little big to, for you, but. <laughs> that up my hair. <laughs> Look at that hat. <laughs> Go to shop You can pick one of these up for yourselves. <laughs> these are the flat bill ones with that black on black, the AB. Yeah, that blocks it looks... your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> blocks your eyes. So what do you think of the new car? Come on. I mean, the wheels are a little bit boring boring yeah but that'll be I, they're not boring but yes we will be getting new wheels eventually okay that's good <laughs> mommy what do you really think i love it you love it yeah. I she, love she, it. it's a good car she doesn't love this right now though well, no. and i can understand that i mean it is crowded <laughs> i mean there's nowhere for anybody to pull in or anything i mean i could play hide and seek out here which is pretty <laughs> all right pretty wife is going to drive the amg for the first time can i just yeah. is it It again. Does mom yeah. know how to drive cars? Be quiet. <laughs> Honey, put the put your foot on the brake first. Hold it down. It smells like car in here. Oh. Oh my god. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got 
got some power. Sydney goes, oh my gosh. <laughs> well, how, how are you sitting back there? What, like new car? New car and new carish and carish. Okay. <laughs> new car and carish. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what does carish smell like, Sid? Versus Only new car. Only my mind can know what Oh, okay. Smell like. The old factory scents. Mm. <laughs> Here's a fun fact, Sid. Hey. Did you know that people that have lost their olfactory sense are more inclined to be psychopathic killers? It's true. It's a statistic. A little trivia there. <laughs> it's true, babe. Mikey, That's why sometimes order? like when I get stuffed up or I lose my sense of smell, I'm like, oh my Never god, I don't want to be a psycho. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. I get nervous like, shit, I hope I don't kill anyone. Do so you want me to put this in the video or? No. Well, it's the camera's on. Oh. I'm gonna just edit that out. These are just the uh, abnormal conversations we have in our little family here. <laughs> God. Well, the reason I said that was because she said, only in my mind do I know what car smells like or whatever. Mm. And it reminded me of it that fast fun like fact. What it smells like in here. That's what car smells like. Like ash. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not that. All right, we'll do a proper wifey drive-in video at yeah. some point. That's fine. Because right now we're just going to dinner, and uh, like everyone's gonna unsubscribe after they hear that conversation that we're having. No, they're not. <laughs> No, most of them will say, oh, that's how we sound. I know. <laughs>to the AMG and that is window tint. Thanks buddy. I appreciate it man. It looks great. So we got 20% all around except for the front windshield of course. Car's dirty but it still looks a whole lot better with tinted windows. I was surprised that the previous owners did not even tint the windows but yeah now it's done. And of course, we're back here at Auto Illusions, as always. Well, the first two days of owning the new AMG has been absolutely awesome. I've just been driving it around, getting to know the car, and it's just so much fun. Honestly, I can't believe why I haven't owned a car like this before. I mean, it's just, it's so good. And I know I keep, I keep saying that, reiterating the same thing, but it's just, I, I love it, man. I love it. And like I've said, we have mods coming for the car. I mean, tint isn't really, I mean, I don't know. It, it kind of is a mod because it really improves the look of the car, especially on a black car. And we got the real mods coming. But um, <laughs> there's some pretty crazy times going on in the world right now. Like in the state where I live in, in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, like businesses are on mandatory shutdown for at least two weeks. And it's just, it's, it's nuts. I mean, it's pretty crazy. Like I've never experienced anything like this where it's almost like a state of emergency type situation going on so with that being said i mean i don't know if that's going to delay a lot of the process with the car mods and stuff if businesses are shutting down but uh, that's kind of where i'm at right now uh i mean i try not to focus on it too much it hasn't really affected me personally except for you know not being able to go to restaurants and stuff like that yet second thing my wife and i have for a pretty long time now had a trip to florida planned we were supposed to land in miami on Sunday, I think it is, the 21st, I was gonna ship the Ferrari down there. My wife had business down there. She was going to a training. And then we're gonna drive to Naples and have a little mini vacation. We're gonna meet up with some friends there, create some cool content with the Ferrari. That trip has now been canceled. Florida is pretty much, if they haven't already, gonna take suit after Pennsylvania. You know, restaurants are gonna be shut down and we were gonna fly down there and I don't even know if the airlines 
uh, are going to be up and running. I don't know if I mentioned it, but the training my wife was going to go to, that was canceled. That's, it's just, it's reality. That's what's going on right now. I'm just lucky and blessed that I can do what I do. You know, some people can't even go to work. This is my work. So, you know, I absolutely have nothing to complain about. And uh, I'm happy you guys are here watching the videos. I hope you are enjoying them. I hope you enjoyed this one as well. If you did, give it a huge thumbs up. If you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already, and you want to, please subscribe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.